Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about the CloudSim software for which we will require the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So we have that uh, version of 2022-12 and we also require the common math uh, jar file so that is also there we will also require the sources file so we have that as well we will also require another cloud sim 3.03 uh, folder so we are also having all that so i will be putting up all these files and their uh, in inside the video description so you can always download all the links from there you will be able to run this particular software so let us begin with the main process of working with it so let us just open the eclipse id that is 2022 so we will be actually running few examples of uh, your cloud sim on this platform so first of all uh, you need to make sure that you are having all these files in place then uh, there is a possibility that uh, you would not be able to see certain files inside it so what you are going to do is you are going to copy up uh, these two files that is uh, common math hyphen 3 hyphen 2 jar and common sources just copy those two files put it inside the jars just go here and uh, put it in this folder common math jar and uh, common sources so you are having it in this so after this you can close this particular uh, folder then simply open up your eclipse and go either go to file or you can go to create a java project so once you click on java so you can give it a name like uh, for this we are using a name cloud sim then you have to uncheck this uh, default location so location you are going to give to the file which you have already there so like uh, cloud sim was the folder that i am already having so i will be clicking on that then select it as a folder so it is going to show you cloud sim 3.03 at this place so once you are able to see this you are going to click press next so just you need to make sure that while you are moving forward it is showing the same pack uh, the same folder name which you have taken for the project name is showing at this place okay so in order to uh, you will also need to make sure that in the libraries you are able to see all those common maths uh, 3.2 jar and sources uh, this is uh, compulsory to have these two files there otherwise you will not be able to run the examples so in order to just make sure that these are working you have to copy it in the same folder wherever uh, your that project cloud sim 3.0.3 jar is there so that is why i had included this file here already if you have that file at certain other place you can simply go to the add external jars and then you can search for that jar and it will automatically build that okay so you can do it from that place but on the safer side i have done it beforehand and i simply copied it whatsoever other file if you require you can use that file at this place so that is also possible so after this you are simply going to click on finish once you have finished you will be able to see it is showing building 50 percent so now in while it is building up it will take some amount of time in the meantime you can simply go to the package explorer on the left side just expand this so you will be able to see that there are certain examples so we are going to run these examples one by one in this uh, we are having the org cloud bus cloud sim example so we are going to press here so you are able to see there as a uh, cloud sim example one cloud sim example two dot java cloud sim example three dot java so these are actually the codes so all these codes are written in java language so you will be able to click on it if once the build is done you will be able to see all that code so here there are uh, some comments which are mentioned so you can go through all these comments in order to understand that what is happening here so as at this place you are able to see this is a simple example to create how to create a data center with one host and run one cloudlet on it so it is going to do that task that is the main thing which it is going to perform then uh, there are certain other comments which you can see that it creates a main function to run it 
then you are having all those rest of the comments that uh, what is the amount of the memory which is there how much how many vmms are running which company vmm is we are running like here we you can see there is a zen server which is running you are also having all those um, cloud led ids and everything mentioned at this place how the data center is created that is also mentioned at this place so you can always explore all the examples that are out there in order to understand this thing that how these examples are working you can also change certain values if you want and you can verify that how it is going to affect the entire scenario that is there okay so right uh, we are going to go into the example number two so it is simply saying you that a simple example showing how to create a data center with one host and run two cloudlets on it so you are going to simply run this particular file and you have to like complete the example so let us just go to the example number one and now you are simply going on run and simply run it it is going to show you that there are certain small uh like errors which are there so don't worry about that much it is going to complete it but uh, you need to make sure that this building which is there it should be completed before you run any sort of these uh like examples that are out there so now once we are able to see that you will be able to see this is a cloudlet id so we are having a success this is a valid id which uh, was there so you are able to see that this example has finished this is a very very simple example very basic one with one a single cloudlet so now you are able to run another one the another example which is out there so you can see it is going to show you there are two cloudlets now uh, first is id is zero second id is one and the status is success so the data center id is two so this is a data center single data center that is why it is saying it is going to create a data center a single data center with one host but two cloudlets are running so two cloudlets are there okay so that is how it is creating now let us just run an another example that is uh, example number eight so in this example it is showing how to create a simulation entities in runtime using the global entity manager so it is going to use certain uh, advanced features in this so you will be able to run this uh, very easily let us just see it is going to create number of these uh, cloudlet ids so you are able to see this is zero five one seven two so there are 101 106 so these all are the cloudlets that are running similarly we are also having example number seven so it is going to pause and resume the simulation how to create all the data brokers are there so it is going to talk about that so you are going to explore one one by one all the examples that are given out there so you can use them in order to understand that how the things are working if you understand it well you can also change certain parameters and view that how these examples are actually executing and what are the effects if you change anything on that uh, program which is mentioned okay so you can change that like if there are number of cpus if you increase that so it is going to increase the number of cpus for that particular uh, simulation so this is basically a simulation software that is used to run the simulations without actually deploying a cloud so you will be able to do research work over this that is how it works for your basic examples that you can run if you have any other code like if you are doing any sort of a research you can use this particular software in order to write your own code and test the various scenarios that you have for your project or for your research work so that was all for the cloud sim so i would suggest you to go through all the examples that are the, out there and read the comments that are mentioned so you are going to go through all of them and it will be enough for you to understand that how this uh, eclipse software as well as uh, your cloud sim is going to work out and definitely i will be linking all the files that are required in to the description of the video thank you so much thanks for the day